Hi guys, happy 2018. So this is my first video of the new year and I thought what better video than to recap my favorites in beauty for 2017. Now, as most of you know, I didn't buy as much in 2017 and I know that kind of sounds boring, but there's something really refreshing about kind of shopping your own stash and really getting rid of the things you don't use and just really enjoying your collection. So I really enjoyed doing that the last few years and I just keep, you know, getting down to some really good stuff. And of course I buy new stuff. You guys seen my um, Sephora hauls and you know I'm still buying makeup, but I really loved just using things I know I can reach for and I like. So I'm gonna go through all of my favorites. In past years I had done, um, basically like what I had just bought new that year, like what was favorite brand new that year. Well, because I'm not buying as much, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to show you what my absolute most worn items were, you know, foundation, beauty, everything. Now I'm going to do a separate video of just lifestyle because I know you guys enjoy that as well. When I've done that in the past, you guys said you really like it. So TV shows, books, maybe a few of my like favorite clothing items. So stay tuned for that. So as far as favorite foundations, I feel like I really tried to get rid of the ones that I'm not wearing and find the ones that I really like this past year. If you follow me on Instagram that you saw, I posted a photo of this not long ago. So these are my three pretty much go-tos lately. The IT Cosmetics CC Cream, I wear it in the shade light and medium, just depending if I'm self tanning or not. This is just an absolute go-to. I wear this on vacation a lot because of the SPF. If I want like a more made up um, but not overly done up look, then I've going, been going between these two. And I have on the Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD today. This has been in my collection for quite some time and I've went back and forth with it. I actually used to mix it with the It CC Cream and I think I did like a get ready with me once with that saying, oh, I think this breaks me out. Well, it's not this. Um, and some of you even said, oh, it may be the IT CC cream. Actually, I think that might once in a while if I wear it too much because of the SPF. My skin's just really sensitive. But this I've absolutely been loving. It doesn't draw attention to all the things I don't want it to. You guys know I have a lot of skin issues if you've been following me for a while. If you're new, um, hi and welcome. And I will list my skincare playlist below, which by the way, I didn't list skincare in this video because I have an upcoming uh, winter skincare routine. Brand new because I've been changing up because my skin has just been super sensitive and acting crazy this winter, um, you know, like a lot of us do. The other one is the Dior Skin Forever. I've really enjoyed this too. The, both of these foundations are ones I can put on because, you know, I have aging skin, I have acne scarring, you know, I have all kinds of fine lines, wrinkles, these don't settle into that and draw attention to it. My skin just looks nice, covers up the hyperpigmentation. I can just go to these without even thinking. So I love that. As for a setting powder, I've really been loving the Laura Mercier Translucent. This is a little one that I always take with me. Um, I really like this one just because again, it kind of um, masks any little flaws, you know, fills in any little pores or wrinkles maybe, but it doesn't look overly drying because I almost always have to set my makeup a little bit, especially in certain areas or bronzer and things like that just will cling to it and not look that good. So this is just a go-to again, don't even have to think about it. So for concealer, I've kind of been all over the place. It really depends. You know, I have a separate concealer for under my eyes and then my face. So covering up any redness or if I happen to have a breakout, I went and bought a new one of these this past year. Um, this was my go-to for a long time. This one of those like everything, you know, we just quit using it. This is the Laura Mercier um, Secret Camouflage and I have it in the shade SC3. And this is great. It comes two different colors if you have a breakout because I like it that it's a thick but yet not slippery consistency. So it really will adhere to any breakout you have and cover it nicely. So this is great for the face. It's not recommended for under the eyes. For under the eyes, I've just been going back to this. I love it. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. I have it in a few different colors. Uh, right now, I've been wearing it in Fair, which is a little light for me, but I just love that it's not too drying. 
Something I used new this past year was the Wet n Wild though, and this is the Photo Focus. I had heard a lot of great things about this and a lot of people said it was similar to some other high ends. This is a great one as well. And I actually like this for face and under eyes, so that's good. And then a somewhat newer one was the YSL, the All Hours Concealer. I did not like this for under my eyes, but for concealing any redness or blemishes, this was great because it really has a lot of pigmentation, so it's full coverage, um, but it's not drying. I have to say I do use the um, Tarte Shape Tape, but it's not my favorite like it is for everyone else. I find the colors to be a little too yellow like with a lot of Tarte's products. Um, it's definitely a little drying under the eyes. However, I do love the pigmentation, um, so I do use it once in a while. It just really wasn't uh, in my favorites list. So for blush and highlighter, I mean, I cannot stop using a couple. This one, specifically since September, because I got it as a birthday gift. It's the, um, it was last year's birthday gift from Sephora. This is from Tarte in the um, party color or parte, party, you know, it's like P-A-A-A-A-R-T-Y. <laughs> this is the best color. And at first, for some reason, I don't know if I looked maybe often, it's a Sephora exclusive, I thought they didn't have this in the full size because I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do when, I, when this runs out? They do have it in the full size, so go get it. It's perfection. I'm wearing it today. It looks great with everything. It's one of those year-round colors, I think, too. It's I can see myself wearing it, you know, spring, summer, fall, because I did wear it kind of into summer, fall, winter. Love that. The one before that, however, um, and it's a similar shade, is this Milani in Romantic Rose. This is a beautiful, beautiful natural color blush. Again, I feel like I can wear it any time of year. It looks great with everything. It's one of those I don't have to think about. Beautiful. Highlight has been the Pixie Duo. This will not surprise a lot of you. Now, this does have a little bit of pigmentation on um, this pink side, so you will get, if you, I wear it under blush, so you will get a little bit there, but I just swirl the colors together. This is in Peach Honey absolutely love this. Today I'm actually wearing a um, hourglass one because I've been switching it up lately, but this one's the one I wore most of the year, basically ever since they sent this to me. Pixie sends me some products and whenever I got this, you see me talk about it in videos, on Instagram. Love this. So for bronzer and another highlight, and I'll show you how I wear this. You guys are not going to be surprised. It's the Charlotte Tilbury um, Film Star Bronze and Glow. And even though this is a higher end expensive product, I'm telling you, I use this every time I do my makeup. I've had it for the longest time now. I may have even bought it, I don't know, it was last year or the year before, and I still haven't hit pan. I got some pretty good indentions going on. This is what I use for bronzer. Highlight for this, sometimes I use it on the cheeks, but what I always do is put it on my brow bone and down the center of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Love it for that. This is just an amazing palette. It's one of those like if something happened to it I would not hesitate to run out and get another one. I've been trying to shop my stash again like I said this year and use some of my makeup um, or my eyeshadow palettes like the Naked palettes and things I haven't used in a while but definitely two palettes stand out that I used above all else. That was the Tartlet in Bloom. Just a gorgeous gorgeous palette and it has this great big mirror. I travel with this one quite a bit. And then this one that I wore today, this is limited edition, but for those of you that have it, or maybe you can still get it, this is the Too Faced I Want Candy Palette. I've actually really enjoyed this. I know when I first got it, I mentioned it. I think I may have even done a Get Ready With Me. I could not stop wearing it. And so I wore this today because I've been wearing it again the last few days. And like I said, I think I have a Get Ready With Me on it. Um, this color right here, this is my absolute favorite color. They call it Sparkling Cider in here. If you guys know if this color is in another palette, I don't remember if certain ones were exclusive to this palette, but if this is in another palette that you know of, again, this color right here, please let me know because I love that color. I have it on um, my eyelids today mixed with a couple of the little brown shades there. Again, I just love this and I love that it's in the little tin. We're super cute. Sticking with eyes pretty much two eyeliners, that's all I've worn. I've traded in my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in Black, which you guys know I've worn for years and years on my upper waterline. And this year I had purchased, I think I actually purchased it the year before, but started wearing it in 2017, the It Cosmetics, the No Tug Waterproof Anti-Aging Gel Eyeliner. 
this in black. It's seriously the darkest blackest black. It reminds me a little bit of the Marc Jacobs, but I think the Marc Jacobs irritated my eyes if I remember correctly. This is like a gel liner that stays put. So if you're somebody that has issues in the waterline or just liner, um, you know, running, try this out. I have it in blue and the black, it's fantastic. And then a lot of you know, I love like a navy liner on my bottom waterline. So I had always used the Chanel Marine Liner and then I had, I don't know when I got this one actually. I just thought I would try a different kind because this is waterproof as well. So this is Chanel and it's in the color Marine again, um, which is like a navy, but it is the Stylo waterproof. So it's the twist up kind. And again, I have that on today. Love it for my waterline because it, for me with uh, blue eyes, it like brightens it without going, hey, she's got on blue eyeliner. <laughs> okay, my favorite part, mascara. I've really been into mascara this past year. I cannot speak highly enough about this. You gotta go out and get this. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Mascara Base. And I know a lot of people use the Lancome. I've never tried that one. I don't feel the need to because I love this. I pretty much don't put on mascara without putting this on. It does dry it out quicker. I feel like using it a lot, um, but I don't care. It's from the drugstore. Love it. Mascaras. I found a few staples that I absolutely love. Most recently, and I'd asked on Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, my link's always below and I'll put my name right here. I asked on Insta Story, I think, that I had gotten a sample of this little guy and I was like, please tell me the full size is just as good because you know a lot of us, we find those samples that we love and then it breaks our heart when we buy the full size and it's like, what is this? It's not as good. Every one of you said yes, this was just as good. So I plan on going out and getting the full size of this. I'm wearing this today. It is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I got a sample of this from Sephora. I don't know how long ago. Decided to start using it. I was like, oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? <laughs> this is like mascara, you know, greatness right here. I'm being dramatic, obviously. Second up to that, and I wouldn't say these are really in a new order, but it reminds me a lot of this, is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Love this. Again, very big, voluminous lashes. Love this. It's very similar to the Too Faced Better in Sex, but I actually think I might like this better. Who knows? They maybe are even the exact same formula, but I love that I can get this at the drugstore. Speaking of drugstore, you guys know this has been a long time favorite, the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly. I always wear this on my bottom lashes because sometimes those mascaras, they have a bigger brush and they just tend to get messy on me. So I don't put them on my bottom lashes, but this I still wear on my top lashes too. I just love it. I always have one of these. So speaking of kind of hit or miss, I had a sample of the Bobbi Brown um, Smoky Eye Mascara. Love this. Like, oh my God, this is great. Went out and bought the full size. This is not as good. I feel like the brush does not even look the same. And it's in a different color tube. The sample was in a black tube. This is in gray. I double checked. It's the same name. But I feel like the brush doesn't even look all that similar. So anyway, I'm still working on this one. I loved the sample, so I wanted to mention it. So lip products. I feel like I have not worn a lot of lipstick this past year. And sure, I have my favorites that, you know, I go to. But what I've been doing is wearing lip liner. And then I fill in my lips and just toss a gloss over. It makes it so easy. Pretty much all spring and summer. And I have a backup of this. You can see it's so small. I love Milani lip liners. This is in the color Nude. It's definitely not a nude. It's more of a pink. It's a great nude pink, especially for spring or summer. Or if you just want to brighten your lips up. So I have that. I have two Charlotte Tilbury, which are my go-to. I'm wearing Pillow Talk today. So I have Pillow Talk and then I have Iconic Nude. Both fantastic. Highly recommend them. And then I have It Cosmetics, Your Lips But Better, Waterproof Lip Liner in the color Buff Nude. This makes your lips look huge and fantastic. I love this. It's a little drying because it's waterproof, but I always put a gloss over it, but the color is amazing. So for those glosses, it's pretty much always a nude gloss of some sort. I have uh, Laura Mercier here, and I'm not gonna do swatches um, because I don't think you'd be able to see them all that well. This is Bare Baby, but I will link everything below. So just a nice nude pink gloss. Marc Jacobs, I've talked about this a lot recently. This is in Sugar Sugar. This is what I have on today. So I have Pillow Talk Liner with this. 
And then I've been busting out my um, NYX Butter Glosses a lot again. And these two, especially if you want like a bright pop of color, I wore those on vacation. Um, they have great bright colors too. So I really like Tiramisu and Creme Brulee. Those are two of my favorites. And again, I will link all this below. I want to talk about a quick hair care product and I've not mentioned this. I've been using this since April, not this particular product. This is a newer one, but this is my standout product. So I've been using Monet for, I don't know, since April and I get mine from my friend Lisa. I'll leave her information below if you're interested. So many of you have commented on my hair this year in videos about how much brighter it looks. I only get highlights about once or twice a year. I'm getting ready to get them next week. Um, and then I do my own root color, but I'm telling you using that shampoo and I kind of have a love hate with it is why I've never really mentioned it. Um, and I can go into whole thing if you want me to, but I really do a couple of benefits that I love from it. And then I'll talk about this product in particular is I do feel like it makes my highlights brighter. Um, which is something that I always had an issue with before and I notice um, not only does my hair look healthier and it grows which my hair grows quick anyway so I wouldn't say I really had a problem with that it maybe grows faster which isn't always great because I have gray roots and then I'm always <laughs> coloring them but I notice um, my scalp is not as itchy as it used to be and I'm probably losing less hair than I did after starting this system I don't love that you do the double cleanse and all that. I feel like it's a little high maintenance for me, but I like the results, so I've kept up with it. A newer product that even if you don't buy the shampoo system, I think all of you guys would love is the blowout cream. Let me tell you, you don't even have to blow dry your hair. I've mentioned in the past I'm lazy about blow drying my hair. I only do it when I'm getting ready to go out or style it. Uh, right then I try to let my hair air dry, which I think they have a new air dry cream as well. I've not tried it. This you can use if you blow dry your hair or not, and it makes your hair so silky soft. And what I love is even if I don't blow dry my hair, but I use this, and you need only a little bit, a little goes a long way, so don't use too much, um, is my hair will feel very smooth, and it's not as frizzy letting it air dry, which I love. And if I do blow it dry, it's very silky and smooth, um, I just love it. I cannot say enough good things about this. So the Monate blow dry cream, again, I do use the whole system. If you guys want to know what I use, leave me a comment below. I just want to talk about two body care products really quick because Origin sent these to me a month or so ago and I've been loving them. They are winter skin savers for sure. I had tried the ginger souffle years ago and really liked it, but I'm telling you, I've been loving both of these right now. This is the smoothing souffle and it smells like spearmint. Again, I spoke about this on my Insta story. It smells like spearmint gum. And then the ginger souffle. Both of these are fantastic for dry winter skin. You don't need a lot. And what I love is they're not greasy. So many times I cannot wear these thick creams um, because they just feel greasy on my skin. I can't stand it. These are not like that. So you can see how much I've used of this one. I just basically kind of tap my hand in there and then rub it, you know, on my body. I've probably been using the ginger lately more um, than the other one. I feel like this scent lingers more than the ginger, but maybe that's just me. I like both, but oh my God, smell. I mean, it seriously smells like spearmint gum. It's kind of like refreshing, you know? So that's how much I've used that one. Again, you don't need a lot, but I wanted to mention them because they've been awesome. I also love this lotion that they sent and the pump. So when I'm not as dry, I will use this and I love it. Again, it's very moisturizing, not greasy, but lately I cannot say enough about these. Please let me know what you guys were loving this past year. I would love to hear. So stay tuned for the lifestyle favorites that will be coming up and some other videos I have, like I have a packing video coming up. And so many of you asked me if I did my cruise outfits. Yes, I was just waiting um, to get over the holidays. So stay tuned for that as well. I appreciate you guys so much taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I cannot tell you enough. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.